Right now at 10 o'clock, a color-coded plan to reopen Pennsylvania, but it won't happen overnight. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. Governor Wolf outlined a regional approach to get up and running, but there is an important caveat. In order to start reopening, there needs to be fewer than 50 cases per 100,000 residents over a period of 14 days. Now, if we look at just Philadelphia with a population of 1.58 million, there would need to be less than 792 new cases total in two weeks' time. Eyewitness News reporter Alexandria Hoff has a closer look at this three-tiered plan. On Monday, the governor gave May 8th as the target reopening date. And this evening, we learned that that might be the target date for parts of Pennsylvania, but not this part. The effort to reopen Pennsylvania will begin in the north central and northwest regions with a target date of May 8th to move into the first reopening phase. The initial benchmark we're setting is for the population to have an average of less than 50 cases per 100,000 individuals over the course of 14 days in order to return to work. Under Governor Tom Wolf's plan, reopening will take place in three phases, red, yellow, and green. We will not just be flipping a switch and going from closed to open. And ultimately, the virus is going to set the timeline, not us. The red phase is where we are now, where only businesses deemed life-sustaining can operate. Stay-at-home orders are in place, travel is discouraged, schools are closed, and restaurants are limited to carry-out only. The next phase will be yellow, where telework will continue where possible. Daycares will open, but schools will remain closed. Travel will remain the same. Bars and restaurants will still be carry-out only. Gatherings over 25 people prohibited. Entertainment and recreation areas will remain closed. Of course, the final phase in the administration's plan is the green phase, with aggressive mitigation orders all lifted. So once again, this is a regional approach, and southeastern Pennsylvania has held the bulk of COVID-19 cases, so it is likely that reopening will be far more gradual here. Alexandria Hoffa, CBS3 Eyewitness News.